Hey, what's up guys? Jackson here with Toasty DIY, and today we're taking a look at this brand new Still FS94R. So this is a, like I said, brand new string trimmer or weed eater. And I was looking between uh, this Still FS94R and like, uh, what was it, the 93? And there's a, I mean, really a lot of models. I was very surprised at how many uh, Still offers, but you know, they are known as being one of the top dogs when it comes to uh, smaller engine equipment like this and I ended up going with this one because well it was for me like why not uh, you know everything about it spec wise seemed better than some of the older models I was told that this one's a little bit um, of a newer model and so just like pretty much pretty much all of Stills uh, weed eaters and, and most weed eaters nowadays this is technically a four stroke that does not have um, a any chambers for oil so you still do use 50 to 1 pre-mix but it basically runs the same way a four stroke would just without a chamber for oil they do have true four strokes like honda makes them and a few other companies but they're known for being pretty heavy and there's a good amount of more parts to my knowledge um, that are involved with uh, like one of the true four strokes so i was kind of told to stay away from those at least for now so to go over some of the specs this thing weighs around 10.1 pounds and I think that includes the head, but I'm not totally sure. Um, 10.1, that's probably without fuel. It has a max cutting width of 16.5 inches, which is definitely a really good size compared to uh, the Husqvarna I used to have. It's 1.2 horsepower and has a fuel capacity of 18.3, which is one of the things that uh, I remember the model I was looking at, which like I, I need to make for sure, but I, I think it was the FS93 that was a little bit more, had more reviews and was a little older, had a much larger fuel tank. And I read that it has a really good run times, but I heard a lot of people say it makes it stupid heavy with how much fuel it held. And uh, I'm going from one that had a tiny tank and it was a, a two stroke that just absolutely went through, um, you know, 50 to one, like it was no other. So I'm excited to give this one a try and see how long it lasts. And then it is a 24.1 CC engine. So definitely a little bit smaller, you know, it's kind of, in my opinion, like, I would guess between commercial and residential. Maybe it's even more residential than it is commercial. Uh, but like I said, I don't do this for a living. You know, I'm just uh, just taking care of, of a lot of yard. So we definitely have a really good sized head. I believe I'm running 0.95 right now, uh, but it can take 95 and uh, I want to say it's, what is it? 1.5, 1.05. Um, so you do have options, but yeah, definitely a really good size head. It looks like it holds a lot of line, especially if you're using the smaller size. Obviously it has a uh, trim cutter right here. So once you bump too much out, it'll cut itself off there um, as long as you have the guard installed. And now it does have a couple of really cool features that I'm not gonna play with, because as you can see, I really haven't even, I've only tested like once. I just kind of cut a little bit of this stuff just to make sure it worked when I got it home. But um, one thing I'm excited to try out is this it actually has a shoulder strap which i know i've, I've had kind of mixed answers on that i mean you know i asked some of the guys uh at the place i bought this from if they use it and a couple of the guys said yeah it's really nice especially when you're just kind of walking from place to place you know i i'm taking care about of about five acres here so i do have a lot of just walking to do like i'm not just trimming all this you know i'm maybe walking for like three to four minutes to get to the next spot I need to trim. Another thing it has is basically like a, um, I guess you call it like a throttle stop or a cruise control, if you will, where you can basically just limit the max amount the throttle will go. So, I mean, it's really not super fancy. Like it literally just limits the trigger, it feels like. So I guess it's nice if you just want to hold it down rather than having to do the very RPM up and down, like you're just revving it constantly. You could lower this a little bit to, you know, whatever desired, uh, you know, strength of cut you need and then just keep it there. Really nice, just toggle or not toggle. I guess it'd be a, a on off um, stop or kill switch. So you basically just press it, hold it down for a second and it kills the engine. Still has a primer bulb and everything, just like a standard uh, weed eater would. Our air filter box is right here and it looks like it just takes a Torx bit to get that off. The choke's a little bit um, interesting. You basically turn it and then push it in and that gives you your choke. And then um, I think once you pull the throttle, let's see. Yeah, once you pull the throttle, it, uh, it turns the choke off. So basically just start it with the choke on. Um, and I guess it's, I guess it's half choke when it's, yeah, because there's not really like an in-between. So that'd be like, I guess, full slash half. And then once you press the throttle, it turns the choke off. Um, but it's pull start. They talk about like they're amazing, like, you know, quick start technology. But I feel like every weed deer talks about that. I mean, so far I've had good luck with it um, starting in a couple pulls. But, you know, we'll see that today. I have not started. It is pretty warm out right now. It's like in the 90s. So 
obviously it shouldn't have any trouble starting. Now one other thing note to uh, make, they recommend using their Husqvarna 40, or 50 to 1 mix, which is like a pre-mix that uses 93 ethanol, I believe. Um, and it's, I wanna say ethanol free, it has fuel stabilizer and it's really good stuff. I just use True Fuel, but I did buy one of the Husqvarna like half gallon pre-mix with it. It's really expensive, like 20 bucks. But I did that because it extends your warranty from two years to four years just for buying the premix. That's all you have to do is buy it once. Obviously, if it does break and you have to send it in, you're not using their premix. It might be a different colors, so make sure you drain that fuel tank if you're gonna send it in um, for them to work on. Because if they see like a different color, they'll be like, "Oh, wait, well, you weren't using our fuel, so it's not under warranty." So just a heads up. I do use True Fuel though. I really like that stuff. Uh, it's literally the same thing, to my knowledge. Like, it's, if you look at the specs, it, everything looks the exact same and it's cheaper. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and start this up and uh, we're gonna test a few different lengths of cutting. We have some small spots like this and I got a spot in the back that is like severely overgrown that you really shouldn't probably use a string trimmer for, but we're gonna give it a try anyway. So let's go ahead and do this. All right, so let's go ahead and get it started. So go ahead and do this. Oh, too cold, not bad. All right, we'll choke off now. So I guess you really, as long as it's not super cold, I guess you just, as soon as you pull the trigger, like I said, it turns the choke off and well, it's, it's actually idling. The old weeder definitely wouldn't do this, but just like any other, you know, two, well, two four stroke, just small engine in general, it's carbureted, you know, they're not, they're very cold nature. So that's with the uh, throttle only about halfway. I'm going to go ahead and let it. I'm gonna go ahead and go full and see what happens here. Definitely has a nice quick spool up for sure. Not bad. I did pretty good. I'm definitely impressed. I was coming from a, I believe it was the Husqvarna 28 CD. So it was a curved shaft and um, it was a, is that a 25 or I guess it could have been a 27 CC. And yeah, this thing just definitely has a lot more, I guess I'd call it low end power. Um, I know that's kind of what four strokes are supposed to be good for. It definitely feels that way to me. Um, with the Husqvarna two stroke, it was like, I mean, you had to really rev that thing up. Um, and that was a, I mean, I, I wouldn't call it a bad weeder. I'd consider Husqvarna to be like a pretty mid-range brand. Um, and I mean, I want to say it was a couple hundred dollar weed eater. And uh, I don't know, one of the things I didn't like was the old curve shaft aspect. It made it, it made it to where I feel like, and I'm only like 5'8", five, 5'9", five, and I kind of had to hunch down to use it. I feel like this one, you definitely get a longer uh, shaft. So it's a little bit easier to stand up right. Um, you also get the shoulder strap, which I guess you could jerry-rig on really any weed eater. So, I mean, 
you know, kind of props them for including that, but it's not anything uh, groundbreaking. But in terms of power, even though it's a 24.1 cc, I wouldn't really let that um, fool you because if you're coming from kind of cheaper um, weed eaters, you know, like more in the like craftsmen, like I guess uh, what else is there? Craftsmen and um, like Husk Barn, I guess would be considered to be a little bit cheaper. I, there's a lot of like cheaper brands I can't even think of. Any of the Walmart ones like Remington and whatnot. I mean, they're all great, you know, if you have under like a quarter acre and you're only weed eating a few spots those are amazing there's no reason to buy a you know 300 and i think it's just 380 bucks um but like i said i'm, I'm doing like five acres now and um i've kind of just really put off weeding all honesty i've been here like six months and uh there's a lot of spots i've needed to weedy it's just that husqvarna i felt like um you know i would fill the tank and it really didn't hold much at all so it's not like it you know was necessarily burning through fuel but um, within about five minutes of use, it was pretty much out of fuel. Like I basically had to fill it up every time um, I wanted to just weed eat like a little bit of the front yard pretty much. So this one I'm told is very fuel efficient. The guy told me that he did lawn care business on the side um, and he kind of steered me away from the other still I was looking at and you know, told me to get this one, even though the other one had a bigger fuel tank. I mean, he said with this one, he could go like, you know, three to six jobs before having to fill up again. So I definitely liked the sound of that. Um, and you know, once again, it still shares all of the same still features and everything. So, you know, there is some attachments you can get. You can also buy like the combine system. Um, I think that they have the FS94R in the com, um, system where you can, it's basically like their universal parts where you just, you know, it doesn't matter which weed eater you have. Um, as long as it has like the little, it's about right here. It just basically, you can quick disconnect everything and you can hook up like a chainsaw um, a pole saw, like edgers and stuff like that. So it's definitely a cool system, but with this one, you still can do, I think a couple of different attachments on the end, maybe one, I'm not really sure. But um, yeah, overall though, long story short, I'm pretty impressed with it. Um, definitely liking it. It's really quiet too. That's another thing I like is, I don't really feel like I have to wear earphones or earbuds with this. Um, my two stroke wasn't much louder, but it was definitely a little bit louder than this one. They've done a good job with the uh, muffler system and everything. I know some people were complaining on the, the 93 or 92 or 95 or whatever the heck it was the the other one that was right next to this number wise and um i'm, I'm definitely glad i went with this one so overall we hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did check out our main channel toasty bros for computer stuff toasty clips for our twitch highlights and obviously toasty diy for all kinds of vlog and uh, mechanic related content like this see you guys in the next one peace out